What's going on everyone, Matesh here, and you know one of my favorite things to review other than smartphones is Truly Wireless Earbuds, and today I have the cheapest pair of Truly Wireless Earbuds that I've tried so far. These are the Soundpeats True Wireless Earbuds version 5.0, and they are just $35 on Amazon, but from the reviews I've seen, they actually might be pretty decent. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of an unboxing of these videos, uh, talking about the features that these things have and giving you guys a little bit of a first impressions. I will be, of course, doing a full review on these later on. So make sure you guys subscribe and have notifications turned on so you guys don't miss those. But you know, with all this out of the way, let's just get to unboxing these. All right guys, to start off the unboxing, of course, we have the box right here. It's actually a pretty plain little box. Uh, on it just says it's got touch controls, 20 hours of playtime, biological diaphragm don't have any idea what that means but it does have auto pairing which is a huge plus for me so let's just go ahead and get to unboxing these things so i already cut the tape right here so let's go ahead and pop these open oops looks like i did it the wrong way so we got a little couple, couple cards here just a little 40 percent off charging case for headphones interesting customer care card logo update card i guess they updated the logo okay cool of course we have the actual case right here this thing is super light it is a little bit bigger than i would expect it's uh kind of pretty long let's go ahead and open these up and of course it's long because these are the airpod style of earbuds where they are very long now let me go ahead and get these out oops all right so got these out you can see it turned on as soon as i took it out of the case there we go and you can see the red light means it's charging i guess both of them are charging now yeah so a pretty nice little case uh it's got micro usb not usb-c which sucks i really wished it was usb-c but i mean these are 35 dollars, so i can probably forgive them for being micro usb but yeah that's the case right there let's see what else we get in the box got a little box probably the charging cable in here maybe some different size tips yep we got two more different size tips in there and then the micro usb charging cable Nothing really fancy, just the plain old stuff. Uh, we do have the manual underneath this. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here's the manual. Yeah, let me go ahead and get these set up with my phone, which actually, since I have a phone right here, let me go ahead and see if I can pair them up right now. This, by the way, is a new mobile G3. If you guys have not seen this phone before, I am going to be doing a video on this very soon, just uh, getting through all the other videos that I have to work on. Oh, one thing I'll say about the case, it's a little, little hard to open. So take these out. So they should be in pairing mode now. And you can see they showed up right away here, or maybe you guys can't see. They did though. So I'm clicking on them. They're pairing now. And they're paired. So yeah, that's all it is. Very quick little pairing up right there. Let me go ahead and put them back in the case to make sure they do turn off. Right there. Oh, the magnets are really strong too. So that's really nice. Put them back in the case, they should turn off here, and they're off. Let's just go ahead and get them back out and try them out again. Just make sure they do pair nice and quick. So in pairing mode, they're already paired up to the phone, so that's great. So yeah, let me go ahead and test these out and I will tell you guys what my opinions on it are. All right, legit, these are actually really impressive. I am surprised, $35? These are really good. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys how, once again how the controls work. So first of all, actually, this is what they look like in your ears. You guys can see it actually has a little light on it. So it's very small. I don't think it would be actually bother you guys when it's dark or anything like that, but this is it. They look like Apple AirPods, but just in black. I don't think it's a bad look. I think people are used to seeing this, so it's not a huge deal anymore. But if you guys hate this look, definitely there are other headphones out there for you. But yeah, for $35, they don't look terrible and uh, they have touch controls. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So. Right now this is pause, so if you double tap the right one, it'll start playing, which it does. If you long press, it'll go to the next song. If the right one, if you'll go to the next song. Le if you long press the left one, it'll rewind, and if you long press it again, I'm just gonna try it again. It'll go back to the last song. Uh, if you double tap the left one, it'll bring up the assistant. So that's cool. All of this works surprisingly well. Like. The touchpad area isn't the biggest, but it works pretty well. Now, more importantly, let's talk a little bit about the sound quality because the sound quality on these is really good, especially for the price of just $35. I was not expecting sound quality this good, but 
really is good. Now, of course, I do need to do more testing and it will take some more time. I've listened to a couple songs, listened to some podcasts while wearing these, and I've actually took a couple phone calls too, which by the way, the phone calls come out of both ears, which is great. Microphone may not be the best, but the fact that it comes out of both ears when you're listening on a call is just fantastic. Yeah. Um, one thing to note, it doesn't have a true mono mode. You can only use the right one by itself. I don't believe you can use the left one by itself. You need to do a little bit more research because there are some workarounds for other headphones, so maybe these could have a workaround too. But for right now, as far as I know, they only work together. And yeah, everything about them seems to work pretty well, especially for just $35. I'm just really impressed. So as soon as I took these out of the case, which the case is still a little bit of an issue for me, it's just a tough one to open. But other than that, it's a very light case. Once you throw it in your pocket, you totally don't notice that it's there at all. Once again, it is a little bit bigger than other cases out there, so you may notice that, but yeah, I'm super impressed with this so far. But like I said, I need to do a lot more testing on this to give you guys my full review, but uh, first impressions are actually really good. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it, and subscribe for the review that's gonna be coming up. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.